This is really cool. This feels, we're fancy. This is really fancy. We're pretty fancy, yeah. <laughs> We are really excited to be moved in to our new Cyclone 4006. Along with a new rig comes a whole new learning curve, and boy, is it a big one. I don't know how to work the jacks. <laughs> you don't know how to work the jacks? I gotta look it up on my phone. So we are here tonight at a harvest host. It's actually not a harvest. It is a field house. And instead of purchasing something when we get here, as you usually do with a harvest host or winery or something, they ask for a donation to the food bank, which we love that idea. So we are happy to support them tonight. That's <laughs> how you figure out if it's level. level on the, the iPhone app. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a zero. <laughs> you, is that just like These are already super on your nice. iPhone? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Nice yeah, you have the pin. Now it's just a little tab. That's pretty cool. That is a big step up. I pretty much use that every time. Yeah, cool. Everything's good in there. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Did you see that report? <laughs> okay, so we came inside to check to make sure nothing spilled because we have all these bags everywhere on our first travel day and uh, our front door is on the slide. So in order to put the slides out, you have to put the steps back up, even though we came in. Zachary, get off of that, please. And then Jason can actually control the slides out there with his phone in this RV, which is super fancy to us because we had like the old school switches. Everything looks good here. Nope, go for it. Are you nervous? You're so nervous, I know. Do you need to close the door? Okay. Oh, there it goes. That thing makes me nervous. It's very wobbly going in and out compared to our old ones. See how wobbly that is? All right, and then this one goes off. Nosy, Automa automatically. It's two main slides, but one button. That is that drives me crazy. It is not a pretty process compared to the chain system or the cord system that was in the other RV. It's kind of clunky, but they're supposed to be better. They're supposed to be better, but whew, they look crazy. They they do. It looks like it's gonna fall out every single time. It totally freaks us out. It's gonna take a while to get used to. What happened back there? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, bedroom slide? Is that what you're going to do next? Wait, listen how quiet it is, Jay. Listen. Do you have to prime it? Yeah. It does it by itself when you do this. That's so cool. If you do it outside, you have to prime it down there. Yeah. There it goes. That is quiet. <laughs> We're so fancy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Isn't that cool? So you, you can, can barely it, hear you it. You can prime it from the screen order. And then is that enough? That's enough to run like ACs, fridge, lights, TV, everything that we would need tonight. 45 amps. 45 amps? Yeah. It's not a full 50, but it's 45. It's close. We can run a lot on that. Which is better than we had with our old generator, which was a 30. Yeah. Which is like an instant pot, the fridge, the fan. So now we've got our surge protector that's on a, what is that? 128 second delay. Make sure that the line is clean. Everything is working the way that it should before it actually powers up everything in the coach. So our panel is showing that it's not registering yet, but. This is really cool. This feel we're fancy. This is really fancy. We're pretty fancy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Max? What are you doing? Are you enjoying the kitty table tonight? <laughs> I 
We're getting the full experience of the toy hauler. Tiny living. <laughs> Because the back room garage is filled with their bikes and everything for a travel day, we decided that the kids were just going to spend the night in the living room this one time. Well, I don't know what the exact cause is, but the issue that we ran into was we got here, the fridge wasn't working. We thought we had an issue with it, uh, similar to what we had before we took off with this, where the inverter wasn't talking to the fridge. and. Um, So this morning, I pulled the fridge out and actually found out that Lindsay was right. She was like, just check the plug, see if it's unplugged. Could you say that again? No. <laughs> and Lindsay was right. <gasps> there the it is. Plug it's so pretty. <laughs> not in the outlet. So that was the issue. As soon as I plugged it back in, it started working. And we're not on generator. We're completely on battery and inverted power right now. Um... So I don't really know what the issue is. I don't know if this bar that was up here to hold it in place wasn't installed correctly. Uh, the screws weren't in all the way, but the we did find two of them down below. Uh, so it looks like maybe they backed out when they were moving and this was bouncing up and down. With a loose. And it, maybe the fridge uh, was kept bumping into it and it unplugged it. So I don't know uh, if it's a design thing where the plug was just, or, installation thing where the plug is installed too close to the fridge but we definitely have an issue in the back with uh, the plug being too close to the fridge so for now I've just moved it a little bit forward so we're not going to have that issue and I'm trying to get this uh, bracket installed up here. What are you cuties doing? Let's jump in the new RV! Mm -hmm. Let's jump in the new RV. He jumped out of the door when we were coming back over here. You did it! Not yet, not until daddy turns off the track. We did it, we did it. Getting your new chair all set up. <laughs> RV is so pretty. We have room back there to put our back deck down. I'm so excited about the site because you can't always put the back deck down with a toy hauler, but this time we can, huh? Mm -hmm. We are pretty excited to sit still for the next three weeks so we can unpack and get settled in. We have bikes in here on travel day instead of bikes attached to the back of the RV on a bike rack. And then when we get where we're going, we just put the back gate down, get it set up and roll the bikes and our kayak out. Good deal. Getting our deck all set up. I still need to learn how to do that. I don't know yet. Watch Dad's fingers, please. So we started to settle in. We started to unpack and form a new routine and get a new schedule down. We all confessed to each other that we were really, really tired. It has just been a whirlwind moving into the new RV and we were just so ready to get settled. Unfortunately, the rug got pulled out from underneath us. Three days after moving in, Jason found out that he was laid off from his job. You can imagine that that was a really huge shock with really, really bad timing. This brought a lot of stress to us very, very quickly, and we decided to just take a few days to let this news soak in before diving into a new job hunt. Stay tuned for our next video where we visit Acadia National Park.